taste of the world. It's Maggie and Jesse, and today we are doing a little taste of Huntley. Um, and we are at Papa G's, which is a Huntley staple for breakfast food. Mm -hmm. Um, it closes at three, we're here at 12 20. Um, because yeah. it's a Sunday, so we wanted to sleep in, yeah. Um, so yeah, let's get to it. We don't know what we're getting yet, but yeah. we will we'll let you guys know. Um, and we got I don't think I can continue like this. Oh. <laughs> Anyways, it, it actually like almost feel like you're running. I have to be on there, so make sure to don't get the under the one higher. I am for grabs. Anyways, um, so it was fun. It was exactly what you would expect from your local small town nightmare. Um, we got the strawberry crepes with whipped cream, cream, and then got an omelet with spinach, bacon, mozzarella, and pepper. So it was a loaded omelet. Mm -hmm. And then we had hot sauce with it as well. Yes, and then um, the drink, she got hot chocolate, and then I got milk. Yeah, so yeah, we tried to get a variety. Yeah, so we got animals as well. Um, the omelet is good. Yeah, the omelet's really good. I actually. like their omelets. Um, mm. Not too much cheese, because it's a little cheese. Mm. Um, but their omelets are good, and it comes with a lot. It comes yeah. with hash browns, and it comes toast. with toast. We got the cinnamon raisin toast. That was pretty good. Yes. So I like crepes, but I'm very particular about my crepes, because I hate when it tastes too eggy. Oh. I, it tasted very eggy. I didn't get that part. I just it was, the crepes weren't filled with anything, so it was just dough. It was just dough, and then like so, some strawberries on top that were a little mushy. Yeah, the crepes weren't that great. I don't know. I love crepes, but they're mid. They're definitely not like a. They're not like a crepe you would get at like syrup or mm -hmm. butter toast or like, not just yeah. So yeah. Um. So I'd say overall, I give it six out of ten. Maybe five out of ten. It's like good. There's just definitely better breakfast places around. Or honestly, like okay, we paid what forty forty bucks. Forty bucks. We could go to the store and get ingredients for 40 bucks and like have yeah, breakfast for a week that's so like that's so i don't know if going out or like this kind of breakfast is even worth it because like, okay, we go to syrup it's like you gotta go have breakfast and then you got a lot to take home yeah. we have some that we brought home but it wasn't like, not enough to like make it worth it no so honestly it's not worth your money like, if we paid like 30 dollars and everything that would definitely been like, that definitely <laughs> would have been worth it but like but it was kind of expensive yeah it was like not that great yeah so so i say overall like five to six out of ten um definitely a place it's, it's a stable it's not really stable. stable um yeah. yeah so check us out in our last two videos so sad. sad. Um, but we will not be trying to find different things in our small town to try because it's hard to be a little taste of the world when you've been doing it for three years. That's true. But for our last two editions, we are going to do a little taste of the world recap, trip around the world, recapping all of our favorites of the different restaurants that we tried. So, so stay tuned. We'll see you next time on a little taste of the world. Bye.